All right, so I'm going to sketch a um, triangle. I want you to do your best to sketch a triangle very similar to the one that I sketch. So, and as I'm sketching it, though, I'm going to um, explain a few things. One of the things, um, do you see my little angle thing there? I'm going to try and make that as best I can to like a 45 degree angle. We'll do it to about right there. And then this one will be a little steeper. So And then I'm going to change this. So while you guys are sketching out this graph, um, try to make it similar in shape to the one that I have there. But we're going to talk about similarity. So we've done a lot of work with congruency. We said that a triangle or any polygon that has the same angles, corresponding angles that are equal and the same side lengths are equal are congruent. What we're going to be talking about now is similarity. Similarity means that they have the same angles but different side lengths and it's proportional. So remember when we did, remember how everything was congruent except for dilations? And so when we did dilations, we either made the image bigger or we made it smaller. The angles were always the same, but the side lengths were different. And they were proportional. So if I drew a triangle like this and I dilated it, with, dilated it by a scale factor of 2, whatever the side length of this one was, you would double it on the next image. And so it says use a protractor. I, I didn't pass them out, but um, they're up there if you guys want to be that precise. But what we want to do, if you make it similar to this, is this is going to be about 45 degrees. Actually, yeah, will somebody grab the protractors and pass them out? Because you guys need practice measuring. Yes, you can do it. They're right up there in the um, blue container. You see that blue container in there? All right. So try to make sure. Now, if this is 45 and this is 60, what's this last one here supposed to be? Well, we can find out this is totally unrelated to today's lesson, but isn't it 180 minus 105? Right? Where did I get 105 from? Yeah, 60 plus 45 is 105. So that means it's what? 75 degrees, right? Okay. So now, similar figures have the same shape, but different sizes. Two triangles are similar if their corresponding angles are congruent. So their angles are congruent, and their lengths are proportional. So their lengths are proportional. Just what I said. Use your protractor and a straight edge to draw a triangle. Make one measure 45 degrees and another 60. It says, compare your triangle to those of your classmates. So when you're done drawing the triangle, if you use the protractor, your triangle might be a little bit bigger or smaller than theirs. But if the angles are the same, they should be the same shape. Does that make sense? So I would say that when you compare them, they should all have the same shape. If they don't, guess what? Somebody messed up. Now you might rotate it. Somebody might put the 45 degree angle here and put a 60 over here or whatever. Don't do that today. Try to draw how Mr. Adams uh, drew his. They all have the same shape. How are they different? Different sizes. Somebody's going to fill up that whole box, and somebody's going to make it real tiny. So there's no way they're all the same size. And then it says, use the triangle theorem to find the measure of the third angle. So we did that already. It's funny, I never really read what I'm going to teach you guys. 
I just start doing math. And then that adds up to 105. So it's 75 degrees. Okay. So I'll give you a second. I know some of you guys are sketching that. So what you'll notice, as soon as you're done, just look at your neighbors and say, hey, let me see your triangle. And not in a weird, creepy way. Hey, let me see your triangle. And then look at it. I knew, I knew you guys would do something weird with that. Um, say, hey, let me look at your triangle. Yeah, you're scared. Teenagers. All right. So... What you'll notice is that you should have the same uh, shape but different sizes. Raise your hand if somebody drew, drew a triangle the same shape as yours but a different size. Look real quick. Take a couple seconds. Are they the same shape but different size? Okay. Shh. All right. So dial it back. Back. Look up at the board. Stop talking. All right. So now to find that third angle, we already did that. Let's answer uh, question number one from the reflection. If two triangle, if two angles and one angle are congruent to the other two, um, what do you know about the third pair of angles? In other words, they asked us to draw a triangle that had a 45 and a 60, and then when we connected them to make the triangle by the theorem, right, the triangle sum theorem, that third one had to be 75. So if you drew a triangle that had two congruent angles and the person next to you drew a triangle, what do you know about the third angle of your triangle and the third angle of their triangle? Yeah, they have to be the same. They have to be the same because the math, they have to, or let's worry about this date, they must also be congruent. We'll make it a little more formal. Ugh. The first video of the day. And I'm making a lot of mistakes. Mistakes are fine. It's just you should correct them and learn from them. Um, it says make a conjecture about two pairs of congruent angles. Oh, wait, make a conjecture. Are two pairs of congruent angles enough information to conclude they are similar? Well, right, let me think this through. Um, I would say yes by the triangle sum theorem. And whenever I write THM, that means theorem. Okay, that's we're going to do a lot of theorems now. Um, the third pair, that means the third angle of both triangles, the third pair of angles must be what? Congruent, right? Must be congruent. Um, so that means all three of them are congruent. So the triangles must be 
similar. And so we're going to start using words like similar and congruent a lot. So this, these next two sections where we do some geometry stuff, we're going to talk about something being similar or congruent. And what's confusing about it is some of the theorems that we use to prove something to be similar does not prove congruency. If I wanted to prove congruency, they needed at least one side to be congruent. But we won't be able to do that. Okay, yes, do you have a question? You don't like the why? That's not a question. That's a harsh criticism of my penmanship. I don't know how to read, and when I see that, I'm going to think that's like a, a four backwards. backwards. Yeah. yeah. It's backwards. a four backwards. It's, it's, backwards. Travis, it's, it's not harsh criticism, it's constructive criticism. We're just making it handwriting. Can I ask you guys a question? And I want you to think about this. Do you think people stare at a sunset? and go, man, this is beautiful, or they look at it and go, well, that one cloud there isn't perfect. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> the sun just shines, as do I. Soak in, soak in the beauty that is Mr. Adams. Yeah, the sun can also make you blind. That's funny. Yeah, don't look right at 